Hello everybody, Morning. welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Maddie. I'm Greg, hello, and all together now, we, we are live. live. You can join us weekdays live from our spare room at 11 o'clock. You sure can. We have games and, and guests <laughs> and experiments and makes. We've got it all. Thank all you, sorts. as always, so much for joining us. Yeah, and so many of you are already in the live chat. We love that. Uh, let's say hello to some people who are already watching. Uh, we've got uh, Emily and Imogen in Southampton. Apparently Erin is joining us and she's also wearing blue. More on that in a minute. Max from Crawley. Uh, hello, Amelia, Raphael, and Eleanor. Lovely, lovely having you with us. Hello, Maisie. Oh, lots of people are wearing AJ. blue. Jennifer yes. says that you're all wearing blue. Brilliant. Thank you um, so much. So indeed, we said yesterday that we would wear blue, uh -huh. and here we are yeah. in our blue. Yeah, Maddie's even got uh, full-on blue trousers yeah, on. I'm Why are we out. wearing blue today, Mads? Um, because today we are joining in with the hashtag make it blue campaign and um, this is our way and what well, everybody's way really of saying thank you to our wonderful nhs staff yeah. so if you are joining us if you have anything blue or you're wearing blue why not snap a little picture and get a grown-up to post it on social media using the hashtag make it blue make it blue yeah, yeah. that'd be fantastic also of course put um hashtag let's go live and then we can find that oh, yeah. as well um, nice. if you haven't yet clicked that subscribe button that you can see below please do do that and then uh, click the bell button next week, you'll get a notification Ding. anytime we go live. Doing our own sound effects this I am. morning. <laughs> um, You're the sound effect guy. We normally. went through the emails last night. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Amazing. Thank um, you. We say this all the time, but we've been getting thousands. And if we if we were able to show every single one, we would be here for hours. So here is just a lovely little selection. Um, thank you so much for sending them in. Uh, first up, let's see. Let's see, Darcy. Uh, Darcy has been very, very busy teaching her baby sister all about blood. So we've got lots of photos coming into um, yesterday from the blood DIY that we did. So thank you, Darcy. Thomas and Catherine, they made blood as well. Look at that. Good work. Yes. Um, Avery, he popped his science goggles on after yesterday's show and he made his own blood. Like us, he used Cheerios, but he actually used some white pom-poms for blood, white blood cells and rice grains for platelets. Getting experimental and creative. That's what we like. Love that. So Jimmy made blood. Well done, Jimmy. What I particularly like is his little sister, Anna photobombing in the background. <laughs> well done, Jimmy. <laughs> so we played a game of uh, germs and ladders yesterday and Florence made her own virus game. And she also created her own little counters as well using, uh, she just, she drew like some lungs, a heart and some intestines. Very cool. George made uh, this blood out of Play-Doh. Ah, I love getting the Play-Doh out. That's nice awesome. Nice and crafty. Um, and we also discussed the sneeze dab yesterday. <laughs> and you can see Amelia here is, is actually joining in with us with a sneeze down. Oh, that's oh, so good. Um, Emmeline and Juliet have had some blue put in their, their hair for uh, the NHS. Hashtag make it blue day. Wow, that is dedicated, girls. Wow. <laughs> um, here we've got Sky. So she's dressed in NHS, NHS blue as well. And um, she's also holding her blue bears, a special friend who's been with her her whole life. And last but not least, this is Millie and her big brother, Ethan. They have been loving body week. Come on, picture. Where's Millie? Come Where on, is Millie. she? Yeah. There she is. Um, so this is Millie. And um, Millie wears hearing aids because when she was born, she couldn't hear. And these mm -hmm. hearing aids help her to hear. And also she's got glasses on, on as well, which, of course, help her to see. Yeah. So, Millie, your hearing aids and your glasses bring us on perfectly to today's topic, which is... Super, Super senses. senses. Yeah. yeah. Coming up in today, uh, we will be putting your listening to the test. Yeah, we'll be tickling our taste buds. Maddie is going to try to sniff some mystery smells. <laughs> and Greg is going to play What's in the Box? Very ambitious show today. Well, we are literally packing it yeah, so full. We always do. So there you go. Um, let's actually work out what our senses are, first of all. And we would love your help with this. So if you do know any of these senses, then maybe like, write it down in the live chat okay, or just so shout them out. Here we go. Let's start with the one in the top left. Okay, so the girl in the orange t-shirt, she's eating a sandwich. What taste, what, oh, I gave it away. Oh. <laughs> what sense is she what using? What taste sense is that? <laughs> taste. taste. Okay, let's go down to the one bottom left. So there's someone wearing green. Uh, it looks like this person is listening to something. So they're using their sense of hearing. hearing. Yes. Well done. Um, the person in the middle, 
uh, is uh, with a pet. They're stroking a rabbit. What sense is this? That's touch. It's touch. That's well done. Touch. Top right hand corner, we've got um, a girl in a stripy top. Uh, and it looks like she's got her hand to her forehead, like she's peering out at something in the distance. Looking That's the for something. the sense of sight. sight. Nice. And then lastly, we've got someone who is sniffing a flower. What sense is he using? It's his sense of smell. Well done. Well who done got the, did anyone get any of those well in the live chat? Well done to everyone who's chucking in there. Um, good job, Chloe and Emily, throwing their answers in the live chat. Yes, Mark and as well. Gemma definitely got here and there. Mia in Ipswich. Claire, is it Clara? Got listen. Well yeah, done. Claire hearing. and Ronan. Good job, everyone. Okay, so that is five senses. We've got taste, hearing, touch, sight, and smell. Is nice. that all? No, that is not all. Those are the five senses that we often talk about, but there what? are lots of other senses. For example, your sense of balance, right? Ooh. When we were doing the assault course last week, lots of people were balancing on logs and stuff. Oh. Sense of balance. And um, there's temperature. So knowing how warm something is, how hot something is when you hold like a hot drink. Um, there's sense of time. So there's knowing that you need to go for a wee. That's, that's, or that that's you need a good to sense eat. to have. And there's another one, and this is something you can try. Um, you can either shut your eyes or put your finger behind your head and try with the other finger on the other it. hand to touch on top of that finger. Oh, yeah. And you'll find that you hit it. So it's the sense of knowing where your body is in space without being able to see it. That's really cool. Definitely it's have called, a go at that. It's called proprioception. Oh, wow. Just proprioception. Okay. So depending on how you count it, there are actually, getting my fact bomb ready, between 14 and 20 different senses. Yeah. What? I didn't hear a fact bomb. I had my sound effects turned down. I'm so Hey, there much. we go. There we go. Thank you. That's amazing. definitely give that a try. Propria proprioception. proprioception. Yeah. Okay. So cool. um, today, though, we're just going to focus on those main five. Yeah. That's definitely. enough to try to squeeze in. I think so. Five is plenty for a half an hour show. Uh, but we're going to start out with our sense of sound. Yes, and we are going to play a quiz. You know what it's time for. Oh, we're dancing to the quiz. Lots of people say they love. Okay, it is time for the quiz. What are we gonna I can't play? Sing. Five different songs come in your way. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't do that. Where did that come from? <laughs> wow, that hurt my sense of hearing. That's for sure. <laughs> Wowzers, I just noticed we're a little bit loud on the oh, mic. So no, it's all good. So um, I'm going to play you five different sounds, mm -hmm. five different sound effects. All right. And I want you just to work out what it is. Listen hard and yell out if you know what these different sounds are. Okay, I've got okay. my sense of hearing at the ready. Are you ready for the first one? I do. Uh, hang I am. on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I think I think that's quite an easy one. I'm sure most of us know what that is. Dogs barking. That's a dog barking. That's okay. a dog barking. Great. Yeah. Nice, right. easy one to get us started yeah. with. Okay, yeah, second great. one. Here it comes. What do you think it is? Write it in the live chat. Go on, you get this one. What do you think it is? So I think this is someone stacking a dishwasher or doing some dishes yeah. in the sink. Because you can sort of ha can hear, hear the sound kind of, of, clanging. of metal on plates. So our, our ears are so, so clever. And actually, just feel your ear. Just grab your ear. Shake your ear around. So ears are made of something we call cartilage. We talked about this actually when we were talking about skeletons and stuff. They're not made of bone, they're made of something called cartilage. Yeah, it's sort of like Same as your nose. bendy bone, isn't it? Um, well done to Arthur, by the way, for guessing dog correctly. And nice. I noticed those of you who said, don't ever sing again, Greg, it's disturbing. <laughs> and I agree, wasn't planned. Don't know That's why it not happened. true, you can <laughs> sing, you can. Um, okay, next one. Okay, next one. <laughs> okay, what's more? <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay, right. That's an animal. It is an animal. And I don't think that's the most realistic of sound effects. However, okay. I'm pretty sure that it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that's something I shouldn't do. I think that's a dolphin. A yeah. dolphin. And actually, um, dolphins, they, they make sounds. We call them squeaks and clicks as a way of working out the world around them. They'll make a sound. Now, imagine that sound traveling as a wave through the water. It will then hit objects. The sound wave will bounce back. To them mm. and that helps them to work out what's what's going on around them with so objects i guess it. they work out the size of something the shape of something and that distance yeah, yeah and also if it's 
moving or not as well. So it's good if they're trying to catch prey. Okay, two more. Okay. This one's a loud one. Yeah, okay, right. So that one. We all know that one. That is a siren of an emergency vehicle. Yeah. That's for our NHS team, for all of our NHS people who are working so incredibly hard at the moment. Yeah. Thank you. And I think the sirens are actually designed to be loud, though, because what's the point of a siren? Yes. You need to, to, to hear it. Yeah, you have to be able to hear it because it's telling pedestrians or so people walking around and people in other vehicles to move out the way. So the sound mm. is quite literally going, move out the way, move but out how the do way. We, how do we actually hear sound? So our ears are kind of like big funnels and those sound waves that are traveling out from an object or something making a noise get funneled by our ears into what we call our inner ear so Ooh. here's a picture of what it looks like inside our ear cool. and those sound waves go down the ear canal you see where that arrow is that's the ear canal the first arrow yes yeah it goes down there and then it hits at the end it hits your eardrum and the sound waves make your eardrum vibrate and wiggle right i need to turn the picture off because we're doing the vibrations. So it sounds gone into our ear, hit and then the eardrum. Next to the eardrum, you've got um, some bones, and it sets them wiggling. And then the bones set some liquid wiggling. Um, hang on, not that picture. Oh, hello, Millie. She's back uh, again. Not that picture. <laughs> this picture. There you go. Sets the bones wiggling, sets the liquid inside uh, the curly thing wiggling, and then that sends a signal to your brain. Wow. So ears are ears are amazing. It does look like we've got a snail inside ears our heads, though. Cool. It does. Right, we've got one more, <laughs> one more sound. Okay. Uh, here it is. You ready? Yeah. one of my favourite sounds. That sounds like rain. It is rain. It is. But that is rain on a type of surface. What, what is it raining onto? What do you think? Mm, what do you think? I think it's raining onto like a building or a roof. Yeah. Maybe metal, it's made of metal. Metal roof, yeah. yeah. So isn't that cool? Our, our, our sense of hearing isn't only able to tell us what something is, it can also help, help us work out where that thing is as well. So Good yeah, work. great hearing. sense. Um, so actually, hearing you know is a very useful sense, but yeah. not everybody has it, do they? No, not everyone is able to hear. So um, I want to show you a video of Hetty. So Hetty has been in touch, uh, and just like Millie, mm -hmm. she's got magic ears. Here you go. Let me bring you up and show you. That. Yeah, Hetty made a video. My name is Hetty. I am four. My ears don't. So I wear hearing aids. They're my magic ears. Oh, awesome. thank you, Hetty. Thank you, Hetty. So you saw Hetty's hearing aids, a really great bit of tech. What it does, it takes a sound around us and it makes it louder. It amplifies it. And then those sound waves go into her mm. ear. And that gives her, as she calls it, magic, magic ears. ears. Great. Um, so that's our sense of sound covered. And yeah. um, we could move on to our eyes next, our sense of sight. But actually, we spoke about our eyes eyes uh, a lot in Wednesday's episode when we spoke about optical illusions in the brain. <laughs> so instead do, of right? us doing sight now, why yeah. don't you go and watch Wednesday's episode if you missed it and look at some optical illusions instead. So instead, what are we we're going to do taste. Okay. Now, all right then. There's a lot of this show you today. We haven't rehearsed because we wanted it all to be a surprise. And yes. this is one of them. So we're mm -hmm. going to do taste. So we all Food tastes of different things, right? All yeah. the different food does. But there are these families, these groups of taste that you can kind of piece together. So I'm going to show you what I mean. First up, um, <laughs> I need you to be blindfolded. Oh my. And when I went looking for a blindfold, I found this hilarious one. Here you go. Okay. Put that on. Thank you so Tell me much. when it's on so I can, yeah. Okay, good. Now. Right, it's on. Uh, I'm going to ask Maddie to taste a bunch of different things. But just to say, oh, no. don't go round randomly tasting things uh, or giving random taste to people. Check they don't have any food allergies and don't just raid cupboards and try tasting things, all right? So, um, okay, so. This is so bizarre. <laughs> let's, you look hilarious. <laughs> you look amazing. It's amazing how when you lose one of your senses, how every all of your other senses sort of get heightened, how you're Love more that. aware of everything. Right, else. we are going to go first for this one. So this, I'm going to show the camera. This is what Maddie is going to taste. Um, so don't take the whole spoon, just open your mouth. Are you giving me the spoon? Yeah, I'm giving you the spoon. <laughs> Go. I got it. Got it? Oh, wow. What's mm -hmm. that? Okay. That is honey. Yeah. It's really, really sticky. And mm -hmm. do we know what family of tastes it is in? 
Oh yeah, that's making my mouth water. It is sweet. It's sweet. So honey oh. and other sweet stuff are mm -hmm. known as sweet. Okay, mm -hmm. what should we go for next? <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go for this. This is a weird combination of food to be eating. Okay, all right. Um, stick your tongue out for this one. Oh no. Stick your tongue out. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> oh. oh no, I just felt some. You have to throw it over your shoulder. Uh. What okay. was that? What was that? That's salt. That's salt. That was salt. You're right. Do you want yeah, to drink? no, no, I'm good. I'm okay. good. Uh, so that was salt. Nice. Um, next up, we're going to go for, okay, stick your tongue out again. Oh, I'll show you a lot. What's weird is that we normally have all these tastes mixed together. So when you just have them by themselves and you're blindfolded, I'm so aware of them. Okay, you ready? Stick your tongue out. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I didn't get That's, much of that oh, one. Stick your tongue out again. Can I just eat? Can no, I just... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that one? That was lemon. That was lemon. And lemon oh. is what family of tastes is that one in? I'm sure everyone at home can tell us, but my eyes are watering and I want to screw my face up so that is sour. Good job. All right. I actually have a bonus Ugh. one for you. Um, show you lot what this is. Drink for the adults, this one. Am I having... it's a oh, drink. it's a drink. It's okay. a drink, yeah. Have a sip of that one. <laughs> Stop giggling. Sorry. This is so weird. Why? I've got it. Okay. What's that? That is oh I think you just hit the microphone. Sorry guys. Oh. Um that's that's coffee. Yeah, it's coffee. And do you know what coffee kind of tastes of? Mm. That's black coffee. Um yeah. and it's a very bitter taste, mm. but I guess um, people watching at home, if they've ever eaten sort of like a Brussels sprout oh, yeah. or a dark green vegetable, that's or quite like, bitter. Or um, like sometimes you get rocket and stuff in salads, yeah. really, really bitter. So Ugh. those are those are four of those types of tastes. We can had, I take this um, off? No, you can't take it off. No! Uh, we had sweet, we had salt, and we had uh, sour, and we had bitter. Um, you might think that's it, okay. right? But actually, there are two more types of tastes that scientists have recently discovered. Mm -hmm. And the first one I'm going to make you taste is this one. Okay, I'm going to give you this spoon. Probably don't consume the whole thing. Uh, for you lot watching. What does that mean? That's what this is. We're going to eat the whole thing. Uh, okay, here you go. There's that. Okay, go on. Oh, no, other, end, <laughs> other end of the spoon. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? Oh, you like this. Mm, I do like this. I got it. I was that holding under it in case opinions. you do it. Um, that's Marmite. That's Marmite. Now, Marmite is from a family that we call Umami. Umami. Um, umami is uh, Japanese for taste. And it's basically really savoury. Mm. So meat and cheese. Mushrooms. Especially Parmesan. M yeah, mushrooms. Mm. They're all from this family of uh, tastes called Umami. umami. Uh, last one. Last one. Running out of time. Here's a spoon. Oh, crumbs. Grab the spoon. Go for it. Oh. No. No, I'm not doing that. I know what that is. Just have a little bit. No, no, no. That's just butter. Oh, gosh. That's just butter. What taste is that? Fat. Oh. It's fat. Horrible. Obviously, not very healthy. Uh, Don't go I'm just eating this butter. Yeah, you can take that off. We're done now. <gasps> Those are the two extras. Wow. Whoa, it is bright in here yeah. now. <laughs> Goodness me. So there you okay. go. Those are your, uh, those are all the different families of tastes that we have got. That was fun. So food can taste of one or a combination of six different tastes. Yes. Okay, that's really interesting. But how do we taste? Hmm. To find out, we are going to use a microscope camera. Oh, wow. Look what's happened to me. And actually, um, we're going to look at a tongue in close up. I'm Greg's ready. tongue. I'm ready for this. So let's find out about how we taste. Well done to everyone who was, oh, uh, who wow. was guessing that. Uh, amazing. Right. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> let's uh, go to the microscope camera. There it is. It's time. Okay. There it is. Come and on, move put, over here. Let's put us. Oh, no. Let's not put us like this. Let's put us like this. All right, then. Hello. Here's us in the corner. Okay. And what? You need my tongue. I do need your tongue. Okay. This is going to get gross. All right. So don't worry. The microscope has been cleaned. Wow. Look at that. That is really cool. So if you are uh, looking at Greg's tongue right now, see all those little bumps? We call those papillae. And inside each of those little bumps is a taste bud. Now, a taste bud is a little bit um, like a little open bag. And what happens is uh, when you eat your food, uh, the food will get mixed with saliva and a little bit of the mixture will fall into that little bag, that taste bud. 
And inside that taste bud, there are special cells that send messages to the brain and your brain and those cells help you to work out what the taste is. Whoa, mm. that mm. is gross. Should we do a selfie with my tongue? That's weird. It's cool though, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Really? Don't want to do that one? Oh, go on. Okay, let's do it. Right. We can always do an extra bonus one okay. anyway. So uh, put someone in front of the tablet or the telly. Get ready to take a selfie on your phone. This is um, a, a selfie of... of... We're going to do it. I'll do it the other way around. I'll do it like this. Okay, yeah, that's, so we'll, that's cool. We'll there we go. Tongue in like this. All right, then. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. So everyone get ready for the selfie. Three. Huh, um. <laughs> wow. Always, always weird and awkward. There but we it's go. It's amazing. Give that little wash. Share them. share them on the socials. All right. Oh, okay, crikey. so that's tongue. Okay. What we do? What we doing next? We've I don't know. Of, oh, tongue! I want to tell you about the tongue. So, um, I remember when I was at school, people always said that you tasted different parts. Those some of those different families of taste yeah, on different that. parts of your tongue. Like that's a bit sweet and that bit sour. Yeah. Actually, that is a load of nonsense. Huh? Actually, scientists th- uh, now think that you have those different uh, senses, all at different parts, all over your tongue, so you can taste different things pretty much everywhere. Wow. So I. Oh gosh, I was taught that as well, and that's completely incorrect. Complete rubbish. Oh, fascinating. All right, so we this is have ambitious. done. We've got ten minutes left. We're okay. clearly going to run that's over. That's okay. Um, so something that that we tend to use when we are using our sense of taste is also our sense of smell. Yes. Because we use we use both our sense of smell and our sense of taste to enjoy our food. Something you can try later: grab a banana or something like that, uh, whatever food, and before you take a bite. Clench your nose, squash your nose like this, and then take a bite of it, chew, 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 swallow it, and you'll be like, hmm, have a think about the flavour. <laughs> and then take another bite, take your fingers off your nose, breathe mm. in, and then see what it tastes like. Yeah, you might notice a big difference. Really good little experiment, that. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the nose, Mads. Here's a nose. Yeah, all right then. So whenever we smell something, let's say uh, a flower, we give a, sn- a flower a good sniff. <sighs> What's going to happen is very, very tiny invisible particles, teeny, teeny, lighty uh, little bits that we call odour molecules will go from the flower up your nose and then to the back of your nostrils. And then right here at the back of your nostrils, there is something called the olfactory bulb. And there, there are loads of sense receptors and those sense receptors will send messages back and forward to the brain and they will help you work out what you are smelling. So you are sniffing odour molecules. Oh, gosh, so many messages. Sam and Alex and Jack, they're in Colchester watching uh, people giving us other things that we should be trying and tasting. This is absolutely amazing. Um, That was not nice. So my turn to uh, try. Well, actually, you're you're dropping all the the facts. This is another experiment on you. So, oh, no, you want a fact bomb? Uh, Yeah. Right. It turns out, scientists reckon, that you can smell, you can recognise, and you can tell the difference between around about one trillion different smells. One trillion different smells. So we can... That's we can, how sensitive your nose is. We can tell the difference. We are aware. Wow, that's how amazing. How utterly amazing is that? Just another one. So I actually really luck. like smelling things. I know yes. this is weird, but I like to sort of recognise different smells. And this is what I was hinting at. We've got another little experiment for Maddie. Okay, so the lovely people at Aroma Prime have sent us some smells. Now, the people at Aroma Prime are, they are smell scientists and they make smells to use at theme parks um, so that when you're walking around, you get different smells to help you sort of like imagine a new world that you could be around. So they do this uh, professionally. So please don't go around the house and just pick up any random things and smell them. It's really important that you don't do that. These have been specially designed so that we can smell them. Okay, so we have these little uh, little vials here with some of these aromas in them. This is the first one for you. You've got no idea. I've got five here. You've got no idea what they are. No. Um, so let's have a little smell. Let's try to get the old factories going and see what you smell. What is this first one? Okay, it's sweet. Maddie. It smells sweet. Yeah. Okay. So those that odor is... molecules are going up her nose to that olfactory bulb. Okay, so I think it's chocolate, but I actually think it's more specific. Oh, I see, you love. I smells. love this game. This is such a good one. You have to. I think that's like a either milk chocolate or chocolate powder. I think it might be chocolate milk. It is milk chocolate. Well yes. done. Amazing job. Okay, we're going to swap for number two. Let's okay. see what you can do. And again, complete are these, surprise. Are these all nice. Uh, well, we'll see, Ooh. won't we? What's that next one? That smells of Christmas. That is exactly. They call that Yule Tide. 
Oh, okay. so it's like cinnamons and spices, a bit of orange in there as well. Let's see what this next one is. These are teeny tiny. Yeah, okay, cool. So again. Lurder in tonight. Lurder in with the chocolate and the Christmas. Oh my goodness. Hang on. I've got to smell it again. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? Is it fish? Yes, yeah, fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> Take that away. These smells are going to get stuck up my... These are so powerful, these smells as well. Let me give you a nice one. This is number four. Remember, we've got five in total. I, don't, you... I do not believe you. Oh, you don't trust me? How no, you? not right now. Oh, okay, so this is the uh, the penultimate <laughs> one. It's a nice one. So again, odour molecules coming off the liquid, going up into her nose, up to the olfactory bulb. I taste of chocolate. It smells of chocolate again. Oh, let me smell this one. Well, oh, you've got, yeah, it does still smell of chocolate, but that's probably because it's on your finger or your nose. Oh, okay. But that is actually sweeter. Doesn't matter, you didn't get that one. No. That one, that one's candy floss. Oh. Which you can actually smell, but you're, yeah, I think I your fingers smell, smell of... These, okay. Oh, I, they can smell fish and chocolate. <laughs> so, it's not what we thought it would be smelling after this show. Okay, um, okay, okay. Last one. Okay, I'm The try final and... of the five. I'm trying to keep my fingers away from this one. Okay, wow, these are, these are stuck in my nose now. Oh my god! Describe what it is. Oh, it's Tiffany. cheesy. <laughs> oh, it's cheesy and it's tangy. Can anyone guess in the live chat what they think this is from Maddie's description of this? It's tangy and it's oh my gosh, hang on. Oh, cheesy and tangy. Yeah, tangy cheese. No. Nope. What is it? Anyone what is it? guessing? No, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It smelly feet. Oh no! Let's put the lid on that one. Put that back wow. in there and put that out the way. Okay, all right. That was amazing. Okay. That was a lot of fun. We do have one more game to play. We're going to play it. So we yep. might run over a little bit today, guys, but that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, we don't have so a set, let's set time for this show. What sense have we got left? It is touch. Yes. So um, our skin is covered in sense receptors. So we're talking a lot about sense receptors today. Um, and whenever we touch something, um, these sense receptors, they send messages to our brain that will then um, help us work out whether something is hot or cold, rough or smooth, wet or dry. Yeah. So whenever you touch something, your brain is really clever. It, it basically goes, oh, what's that from all those different sense receptors? Mm. But it's also clever because it knows what to focus on. Because if you think about it, the sense receptors on our body are always picking up our clothes. Yeah. So your brain needs to know to essentially ignore those sense receptors oh. and concentrate on what you've just picked up. Oh, so, you sort of pick and, so it sort of picks and chooses what's important. Mm. Gosh. What are the most sensitive areas of our body? Oh, so some parts are more sensitive. So places like our toes. Toes. Um, our lips are very sensitive. They are yep. packed with sense re receptors. Um, and so are our fingertips. Yes. So it's uh, it's my turn. It's payback time for Greg Foote. I am going to uh, <laughs> challenge your sense of touch. And you're okay. going to use your hands okay. and your fingertips to see if you can guess what's in the box. What's in the box? We should have had some music for that. What's yeah. in the box? This is a really fun game that you okay. could actually play at home as well. All you need is a cardboard box and some random objects. Okay, so... Uh, uh, let me set this up. Okay. Here is the cardboard box. So we've got a cardboard box here. Can you see it on the camera? You now, can see it on the camera. Now, Greg. Hang on a minute. Let me switch to, uh, I've done a table cam. So that's like that. Do you want to see us as well? Let's see us as well. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't reach my laptop. So I've got um, a, a bunch of different, I'm going to move this over a bit, Greg. I've got a bunch of different objects. Now, Greg, you cannot look at your laptop screen because I don't want you to work out what it is, That's okay? Fine. So I'm going to get you to cover your ears. And when you cover your ears, I'm going to tell everybody at home what it is that you're going to be feeling. By the way, right? well done to all the people who guessed cheesy feet on the smell. Okay, so I'm covering my ears. I won't look at my laptop anymore. So this is your, so you can tell okay, them what you're putting in. The first one is a hairbrush. Can you tap me when you've spoken? Sure. Go. Okay. Go on then. So, I just reach in. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me the different materials. Okay, so something solid at the bottom, spiky, spiky on top. They feel like plastic spikes, plastic. That feels like it's like for brushing something. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that's a hairbrush. Yes, well done. Hairbrush? That's not correct. Okay, yes, yes, cool. yes, yes, All right. very good. Can I take it out this way? Oh no, I'll give it back to you that way. There we okay. go. Oh gosh. All right, cover your ears. All right, cover my ears, shut my eyes. The next one. This is just payback for each. The next one is a laundry tablet. 
Go. Okay, you can go. You Next tapped time. me so I opened my eyes, but I didn't see it. Okay, that's okay. You're not allowed to look. Okay, what are you feeling? Where is it? Back of it, back of it, back of it, back of it. Yeah, you got it. That's soft and squidgy. What on earth is that? Soft, squidgy, small packet. Oh, I reckon that's um, uh, laundry detergent stuff. Yeah, well done. Well machine. done. Yes, it's sort of like a, li a little sachet of laundry detergent. Okay, perfect. Okay, right, leave that one. I'll switch those over. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so many people saying cheesy feet, and then people being like, get him back. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it, guys. Okay, okay. all right. Cover your ears. Cover my ears. Okay. I've got some grapes, but I've peeled them. So peeled grapes. Okay, great. You can get. I'm worried now because they say get him back. There's a dish. Do I have to put my hands in the dish? What have you yeah, put in the dish? You've got to put your hands in the dish. <laughs> well, they're weird little round, soft, squidgy things. Now, that's hard to know from just touch, but they feel quite cold. I'm going to guess, well, I'm thinking berries, like fruit berries, but can I, shall I squidge one? You can squidge one if you want to. Grapes. Lift it up a bit. They're yes. like grapes. Yeah, yeah. Are they grapes? They are grapes, but I sort of tried to confuse you a little bit by peeling them. Yeah, that's what was confusing. Yeah. I was like, are these eyeballs? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to do one more. One, one more. Okay, more. Okay, cover okay, your ears. Cover your ears. All right, hang on. Let's wash. Wipe me your hands a little bit. Oh. Okay. Do you want to keep it away? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Cover your eyes. Baked beans. Okay. Ready, guys? Ready? Okay, got them. Go, 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 go. Okay, last one. That's a big bowl. Put your hand in. Put your hand right in. <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. It's cold. It's wet. <laughs> What is it? I'm not used to grabbing this. That's disgusting. What is it? Oh, I think you've been clever here. What are they? Is this a throwback to last week? Yes, it is. Is this commonly known as baked beans? Yes. But what we now call seeds? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but utterly seeds. revolting to touch. <laughs> and that was What's in the Box. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me... I'm going to put these away. Let me wipe my fingers. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Brilliant, there oh, we go. Oh. Sorry well, guys, sorry. There you go, we have explored all of the senses. I'm just wow. cleaning my fingers before I do this on the laptop. Brilliant, so we are nearly at the end of the show, but just um, let's quickly see uh, some more of your photos you've been sending in. This is a really yeah. random selection that we've had through uh, throughout the whole week. We should wrap up the week because you've yeah. been sending us so much amazing stuff. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so Eliza's mind, not only yours, was completely blown when Daddy Andy was wearing exactly the same t-shirt as you. Andy! Great choice, buddy! <laughs> and that just happened live. Yeah. That's amazing. Next okay, one. Wicked. Okay, next one. Uh, let me have a look at my list. So this is Barak and Bella. Um, they've been doing some cool moves whilst uh, they've been learning about their bodies this week along with us. Uh, next up, we have Erin, who lives in the French Alps, cool. sent us this photo. Um, she also is climbing trees. And what's there? That's one of our bird feeders. It is. Great tree climbing. Um, Annabelle can do this thing with her thumbs. Look Whoa. at that. I mean, gosh, I can't. I certainly can't. Can you do it? I can't do that with my thumbs. No. I don't know. Maybe don't you can do it at home. But don't, don't push, push it. it too hard. Don't push no. it too hard. Um, Ellis, big congratulations because he lost his first tooth this week. Whoop, whoop. Brilliant. This is uh, Seren and Ilara sent us this selfie as they were watching the show. Yeah, we've had so many selfies. We do love them. Um, here, this is Zoe and Zoe's brilliant body. Um, uh, she has an amazing piece of technology which helps her brain to work uh, properly. It's called a VP shunt and it helps Zoe keep well and smiling, yeah, nice. just like she is now. Uh, we've got Ruby and Leo here from North Devon. They're showing off their brilliant bodies on their climbing frame and finally natalie eva rose made six hand-drawn digestive daves she set them all up in a den and she even she's even got a balloon in the in the background with our show name on it let's go live yeah um, <sighs> awesome that is pretty much it for the day we uh we did a slightly extra long show today i mean we've never said what what length it's going to be so it's yeah no it's been it? really good fun so good. that and was if you... such a fun one thank yeah. you so much and if you do that. get involved with any of our sense activities over the weekend then of course send us pictures to hello um let's go live at gmail.com 
Now, we had loads of messages in from adults who were like, Greg, Maddie, please will you carry on doing the show over the Easter holidays? So yes, we for are. you, we will be <laughs> carrying on going next week. Uh, just Monday to Thursday though. Yes, we're going to take Good Friday and Easter Monday off, but we are going to be back next week with... Brrr, Space, Space week. week! Yeah, I hope it's cool. I mean, Friday and Monday off, we kind of need to sleep. And yeah, yeah, yeah. eat chocolate eggs and stuff. Absolutely. Or more likely prep the show for the next week. Uh, last little look at the comments. Uh, Evie and Sophie in Lower Soft, they say hi. We've hi. got Seb in Guernsey. Uh, someone saying, eat the beans, Greg. No, not my hands are being in it. Uh, that was that was so much fun. Uh, we've had such fun with Brilliant Bodies this week. Thank you so much. Keep sharing the show as well yep. with everyone. That's awesome. And we cannot wait for space next yep. week. Subscribe, of course, and click that bell for notifications for every single time we go live. As always, stay curious, and we'll be back on Monday at 11am. Bye! Bye.